Hey, Shalom, welcome to Zvukah, my kapash from GMS London, giving all praises and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Chachwadash. Want to give double honors unto the elders, the apostles of GMS, and Shalom, I'm out there to the hopeful next Christian is truth and all sincerity. Uh, back in another video, and uh, I brought posted up this um, this video of YouTube. Okay, it's interesting, interesting video. Uh, we wait to see um, what comes about of it. You know, but this guy goes into, um, you know, a lot of stuff concerning you know, sort of eclipse that's supposed to be uh, taking place as it around the April 8th here, right? As he mentions, right? And what things in the background are, are being spoken about, you know, between, um, you know, these uh, national defense agencies and that kind of stuff. There's something going on, supposedly, right? Um, that's been orchestrated around this time, right? And, you know, he goes into it. I'm not going to play the video. You can, um, you know, look for the video yourself. You've got the title here. Inside it exposes April, April emergency and more. You must know, right from JWTV. All right, so you can you can look that up. Um, but yeah, you know, he goes into a few things um, that's going to, that may be happening or taking place during uh, April eighth, uh, around that solar eclipse time. You know, certain, uh, you know. Uh, well, we we mostly goes into some sort of um, biological event, okay. That um, you know, they're looking to, you know, do on that day, you know, among the people that are there, and um, you know, cutting cellular, uh, you know, communications off, right, and things of this nature, right, and you know, it wouldn't be surprising. We know he saw he, you know, he does um. He does do things according to certain dates and times and celestial events and whatever. So we know he plots and plans and, you know, so yeah, it wouldn't be surprising. Lord, when there is something that goes down, you know, because anything that, that, you know, that furthers, um, you know, the downfall of this place, that furthers prophecy, man, yeah, bring it. Yeah, bring bring it all, man. Sooner the better. Right, but he's out here planning the whole heap of shit. Right, and you know, the majority of people are not gonna know until it's until they're in you know, in the middle of it, you know, until they're deep in it already. You know, a lot of people wanna say, Well, you know, you can't trust the source. Yo, know, it's just a conspiracy theory. Maybe, maybe in it. Maybe. And that's why we just wait and see. We we, we remain circumspect and, and this is what we're asked to do, man. We don't we don't just throw away, you know, we hear something, we're not just gonna throw it away like yeah, well, we can't, cause you can't, yeah, we can't confirm everything, man. We can't confirm all the sources that you know these people come out with. The only thing that's going to confirm it is the spirit when it happens, right? And so we wait, we watch. Okay, we're watchmen, so we wait and watch. We hear certain things and we feel it through the scriptures. Is it plausible? Can it happen? Could it happen? Yeah, okay, then. So we keep an eye out. You know, whether it can be confirmed or verified or or, or whatever. You know, we 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 um uh what's the word I'm looking for? You know, we filter everything, man. Okay, and we just we just see, you know, we just wait and see what happens with, you know, information that we come across. Okay, and that that's it, man. But we know he's always put on the scheme, and so, you know, you know, it's always going to be the next one. Okay, and the next one, you know, until until this until this place is done, right? We know that's how it's going to be. All right, so if there's you know some sort of information that that that's out there, that that could be true, yeah, well, you know, we you know we hold it, we might mention it, maybe. And we just see what happens, isn't it? You know, we know the Lord is doing his thing out here. And it's just a matter of time for Esau's kingdom is um is brought down and destroyed. Okay, the time of Jacob's troubles is 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 fast approaching. Okay, the time of of, of great trouble, great evil upon the world is, is coming, right? So, you know, these these things uh you know, they could well they could well happen, you know. Uh but yeah, he goes into a few things, but I can't remember it off off the top of my head, but I'm you know my memory ain't all that great right now, but <laughs> at this moment, right? But um, you know, he goes into a lot of stuff, man. So I'll probably check the video out, you know. Um, let's grab scriptures, right? Uh, Ephesians chapter five, verse fifteen. It says, "See then that you walk circumspectly, not as fools." Right? We're not just ignoring information, if you know. Oh, you know, like the majority of these people do. Okay, just ignore stuff, right? We walk circumspectly, meaning we're always on the lookout, we're always looking around us, always paying attention to things and to, to rumors and, and all kinds of things, right? It says, walk, 
uh, see then that you walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise. Because it's wise to, um, um, what's the word looking for? Damn. To consider all these things that may or may not be happening. It's, it's wise to consider them at least. Right? Verse 16, redeem the time. Because the days are evil. We are living in evil times, man. So we have to be vigilant. We have to be circumspect. We have to consider all these things, you know, all this information that we come across. And we have to filter through the scriptures, man. Right? You have to filter it through the scriptures, man. We, we don't we don't just uh, you know jump to conclusions just because you heard it. If it if it ain't if it ain't really matching things that are written in the scriptures and you know, concerning prophecy and so what, then you know it's got nothing to do with us, man. It's you know. But we know how you know Esau's kingdom is going to go out, and so anything that's uh, that's being spoken about that kind of um, shows that or alludes to that, then you have to pay attention, man, and see what happens. We see what you know how the Lord is going to unfold it. All right. It says, uh, "Wherefore be you not unwise, but understanding what the will of the Lord is." Right. Like I said, you, when you know what the Most High plans to do to this place, you know these these. Uh, you know, these these you know these informations that we come across right they make a lot more sense okay it fits what the most high's will is so you take them you know you we take things with a pinch of salt because we you know but like I said if it sounds like it's something that could could happen then we pay attention man all right This is Matthew chapter 24, verse 6. And you shall hear of wars and rumors of wars, right? And, you know, usually we apply this to, to you know, these nations, in, you know, with their, their militaries, uh, military style wars and that kind of stuff. But even this is a type of war that Esau is, is uh, you know, um, using against the people. Okay, planning against them and, you know, planning to, to, to attack them, man. Right, so even this is a rumor of, of, of something that you pay attention to. All right, and we just see what happens with it. All right, and you should hear wars and rumors of wars. See that you be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. All right, because the end is coming, man. But we're living in evil days until they're fulfilled. You know, it's going to be evil. All right, for nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. Okay. This is Micah chapter 2 verse 1. It says, Well to them that devise iniquity and work evil upon their beds. When the morning is light, they practice it because it is in the power of their hands, right? So we know what the elite are up to. We know what they you know what they've been planning, what they've been scheming. So you know there's something they're always doing. Right? Because they have the power. Right? They have the, the money, the resources. Okay. So you know there's always something going on in the background. Wait, waiting to um, you know, rear his ugly head, you know. Psalm 64 and 2 says, Hide me from the secret council of the wicked, these secret societies, right? That supposedly don't exist because that's just a conspiracy. Because you know, there's you know, people can't verify that people are doing these types of things, right? Well, that's why it's a secret <laughs> because you ain't meant to know, right? So, hide me from the secret council of the wicked, from the insurrection of the workers of iniquity, right? That's these elites, right? It says, Who wet their tongue like a sword and bend their bows to shoot their arrows, even bitter words. That they may shoot in secret at the perfect. Suddenly do they shoot him and fear not. They encourage themselves in an evil matter, right? Because it ain't it ain't right. It ain't nice, you know, unleashing, you know, biological, uh, you know, uh, materials as as the, as the guy said in the video upon the people. They ain't they ain't they ain't, uh, they ain't right, you know. And he was going into you know, everything that happened with the, with the CV and, and how people react and responded. And, you know, because of that, that's how they, you know, they're going to change, how they're going to deal with it, you know. Because they would really, they would have been doing this and, they you know, they always keep talking about the, the next one, the, the next one, the next one, X, you know, uh, disease X and, and all these types of things. They're already looking to bring more. Right. To manipulate and control the people. Right, it says they encourage themselves in an the evil matter. They commune of laying snares privily, traps. Right, they say who shall see them? Who's gonna understand? Who's gonna identify us? Like we're the ones behind it. They can't, you know. 
So they search out iniquities, they accomplish a diligent search, both the inward thought of every one of them and the heart is deep. All right, so this is what they spend their time and their money on, man. Ways to forward their agenda. It's 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 11. It says, Lest Satan should get an advantage of us, we are not ignorant of his devices, okay, his methods. You know, how he, about, you know, how he goes about doing his thing. What, he, what his plans are. Okay, we're not ignorant to them. These people out here, the majority of them, don't want to remain ignorant. They don't want to believe that we're in such an evil world. That we have such evil people ruling over us. And that this is their plans for us. People don't want to accept that 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 reality. Okay, they'd rather live in their in their own little bubble that they got, you know, where they get to go work, go party at the weekend, watch your standards during the week, and all this, you know, all this fucking shit, right? They're, they're like they're happy with just doing that and just knowing that that's their little thing going on. What goes on that side of that? They're not, they're not really interested in it, man. They just want to chalk it up down to random random events, random occurrences. And, you know, believing in the good nature of mankind, which is bullshit. Right? So they would, they would like to remain ignorant. Okay? Not us. Okay? We don't, you know, we, we're not here to be ignorant. Right? Otherwise saying, as it says here, otherwise saying we'll get an advantage over us. Right? You know, you're kind of blindsiding you if you don't know. Right, so again, lest Satan should get an advantage of us, we are not ignorant of his devices. This is Revelation chapter 12, verse 12. So therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them, or in the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil is come down unto you having great wrath, because he know if he had but a short time, right? Esau is on, on a clock. His, his kingdom is on a clock. And so he's having to push more and more extreme measures as time goes on, and and everything's coming closer to closer and closer together. He's not waiting five, six, seven, eight years. He's not waiting to bring in the next thing. Okay, we've just come out of a pandemic not too long ago, man. He's looking to do the next one already, man. And if something goes down in 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 this April eighth thing, you can see he's in he's in a rush. He's, he's he wants to hurry things along. You know, and so there's a whole bunch of stuff going on in the Earth right now. Okay, and it's not all coincidence. It's not. None of it's coincidence, but it's not all happening because of a coincidence. It's happening because it's it needs to happen. Okay, the most high is, is pushing the time. Okay, he's causing Esau to move at a faster speed to, to do things faster. Alright? Esau Esau feels it, he feels it in his spirit, man. He needs to hurry up. And I'll close out with this because you know he mentioned something about um you know people being on lists. Right, uh, different types of lists, you know, that are, that are not with with the um, with the governments and you know the government. Um, oh, what's the word for it? You know, those that don't want to, they're not towing the line. I don't believe in the government that they, you know, believe they're crooked and all that kind of stuff. They're just against what they got to say and they don't believe them and all that kind of stuff, right? So they have these people on lists, right? And obviously they're going to deal with them in in particular ways, but they they identifying who's who who's who's for the government and, and what they're doing and who's not okay we've known about these lists for a long time you know but it's going to come a point in, in time where they're going to act upon those lists man all right so i'm going to read this in revelation chapter 13 and 15 here said so he had power to give life unto the image of the beast that the image of the beast should both speak that that causes that and sorry we should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed, right? So we know Esau is going to become very ruthless, very violent for those that are, that are not accepting of him and his image. They don't know the way he wants to do things, right? His system, that don't want to bow down to it, adopt it, make themselves a slave to it, right? He, so he's got methods or, you know, that he's going to use to get rid of people, Right? incarcerations beheadings and, and all these types of things but that's what's going to happen you know in the latter times right so he's really you know he's been compiling this list to see who's with him and who ain't with him man anybody that's not with him this is this here should be killed and that's what's going to happen in the end because things are going to get so chaotic and so mad that he's, also, he's not going to be um politically correct at that time he ain't going to be you know uh uh Going about in a soft manner. Right? Because you know you have but a short time. You're coming through great wrath. 
right? So he's not going to come in that in that soft spirit that that he kind of comes in, man. To you know, to to kind of beguile you. You know, he's going to make you uh, an enemy, a public enemy, and just deal with you as he sees fit. All right. So, you know, like I said, watch the, watch the video, man. It's a it's an interesting video, interesting information. So you know, we we like like always, man. We we watch, we wait, and we see we see what happens, man. What we're April eight for? So what's that? Is it a few weeks away? So we wait and see. Lord, Saint, you know, Lord willing, Saint goes down, and the Lord can push these these uh, these prophecies uh, to move faster, you know. But um, for the, for now, we're, we're gonna say shalom, uh, all praise and glory to Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, Shem Kapadash. Double honors unto the elders, the apostles of Jim Messenger, Shalom out there to the hopeful that's pushing truth and all sincerity, right? So till next time, I say Shalom.